Hi everybody, this is Brian Koo with another ROK video. And today we are talking about the newest event in Rise of Kingdoms, the Alliance Mobilization event. And right off the bat, I will say the name is interesting because mobilization is not the easiest word to say. Mobilization. I will screw that up sooner or later when I least expect it. The name aside, this is a very cool event. And it is cool because the rewards are absolutely fantastic and they are basically free for everyone to acquire. Just looking at the rewards for this lowest tier of the event, we will earn at, at level seven, we will earn three legendary formation chests, which I would say three legendary formation chests are worth at least $5. That is a conservative estimate as to how much this is worth. And so the difference between getting to level seven and not getting to level seven is $5 times every member in your alliance, which is $750. And that amount of value is way more than other events in Rise of Kingdoms that you do as an alliance. Uh, the difference between winning and losing an Ark of Osiris match is worth a few hundred dollars based on the rewards you get. But because this because the rewards for this event are distributed to the entire alliance, the value is a lot higher. And so this is really Lilith um, being very generous with the player base and giving us quite a bit of free stuff that we can get from just doing our normal day-to-day -day grinding plus a little bit extra. Now, in terms of how to play this event, I'm going to just address my own alliance, the Handsome Devils, and talk through what I think people should be doing to uh, maximize our success in the Alliance mobilization event. So what I would say, first of all, is that we have seven days to do this event and you only have 10 quests that you can do, plus one extra quest that you can buy for 600 gems if you choose to do so. So it's not a rush. You're not in a rush to get these events done. And as I'm looking through this, let me make sure. Let me make sure I get done with this video within 14 minutes because I need to get onto my alt and complete this quest. But so there's no big rush. And so what I would encourage people to do is focus on the higher scoring quests like the purple and the yellow quests. Um, I think the I think the blue ones are fine, but I, I kind of like leaving these to the um, more casual players and to alts. You know, a, a, a you know a, a blue gathering quest is something that an alt can get done, and so I think it would be good to just leave these to the alts. I would also say that early on in this event, this is the first time this event has occurred. It's not important to um, spend your gems, although I can see that people have been spending all the gems. There's actually like no gem quests available right now, are there? Yeah, so I think that there are a bunch of gem quests in this uh, in this event, and people have been doing those quests on their alts because their alts have a bunch of gems available. What I would suggest is not doing the gem quests now. I would suggest saving your gems until we start to get promoted to the higher leagues. You see right now we're in second place and the top five alliances at the end of the week will be promoted to the next tier of this league. We'll be promoted to Dazzling Silver. And so this league will get more competitive and it will be more important in the future for us to do very well at it because we will be in a more competitive tier fighting for promotions and we will also have more of these levels that we need to unlock. So even though it looks like people have been doing the gem quests today, what I would suggest is hold on to your gems 
and save those for future leagues. Um, now, beyond that, and, and the other thing to think about is like, what is important on a particular day, right? Today, we have the um, stage four of the Mightiest Governor in effect. So we have the ability to gain power and rank up in Mightiest Governor. And so it makes perfect sense to do some of these training quests today. On days where there is no training event going on, it doesn't make sense to do these. And the same is true for, you know, um, like barb forts, right? We're in the Lost Kingdom right now. There's no way, we're not really doing a lot of barb forts at this point. And so no one is getting 10 barb forts done in three hours. And so what I'm doing, going to do as an officer is I'm just going to reset this quest. And I do think that officers are going to play a pretty important role in the Alliance mobilization. Because you really want to have officers on a regular basis going through these and refreshing quests that aren't going to get claimed and giving people the opportunity for the easier quests to do. You know, right now we've got a couple of gathering, purple gathering quests available, which is nice. It shows that we're kind of at a, a quiet point of the day for our alliance, that no one has claimed these. But what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of training quests. I'm seeing a whole lot of training quests. And so some of these I can just refresh and, you know, let let something else pop up, right? So for, for officers who log into the game on a um on a on a regular basis, but they're not just constantly playing, you know, if you're the kind of officer who checks into the game every 30 minutes, every hour, like I do while I'm working, then this is gonna be a nice event for you because you can really um you can really make things easier for your alliance. You can keep refreshing the quest that no one's no one's gonna do and you know create the possibility of whenever someone logs into the game, whenever someone checks this screen, they will have the optimism that they're gonna find something that they can do. And so you just wanna have that precedent, set that precedent for your alliance so that they will check it more often and get these quests done. Uh, I'm looking around for what else I can reset. I guess I have, a, there's a bunch of these uh, training quests and I know that the, um, the training buffs um, you know, the, uh, the kingdom wide training buffs have worn off. I think the runes are soon going to wear off, uh, here in the lost kingdom. So I'm just going to reset a few of these as well. And, you know, you can see that my alts are doing a, a couple of, uh, these quests here. Lil Ku's doing a quest and Brian Kuwan is also doing a quest. In an alliance like ours, in the handsome devils, we do have a fair number of arms in our main alliance. Um, I would say we have maybe like, uh, I, I'll just be honest about it. We have about 80 or so uh, main accounts in our alliance, and then the rest are actually just farms. So basically half of our alliance consists of farms. And so it is going to be very important to take advantage of your farm accounts and have your farm accounts also do quests in this alliance mobilization. And, you know, all in all, I think this is going to be a real test of just who are the active alliances in the game, who are the dedicated alliances. Um, I would suspect that this event comes around every month or so. And so uh, a full quarter of the time we spend in the game going forward is going to involve this alliance mobilization. So it's really just the kind of thing that you want to work into your regular play um you know some of these some of these are going to be like it's just gonna be very routine right these um these tempting gift quests are actually pretty good and oftentimes there's one of these that asks for three bundles right so you see that dad go where has just claimed this now and he'll probably purchase his daily special bundles later he is a regular buyer of the daily special bundles. So a small spender can just knock these quests out, knock some pretty high high reward quests out um, on a very regular basis and it can just become part of the routine. 
So really, this is pretty exciting. Um, I mean, the rewards are honestly insanely good. I'm, I'm like kind of shocked at how good the rewards are. Uh, three legendary armaments here at at level seven uh, makes me wonder how big the rewards are going to be at level 18 or even at level 15 in the Immortal Diamond League. I mean, if we're getting three armament chests here, I have to imagine we're going to be getting six or seven armament chests here at the higher levels. Um, and so, so some truly excellent rewards that have essentially appeared for free for all players in Rise of Kingdoms. And, you know, I think if anyone has wondered why this quest or why this event has taken so long to appear, uh, I think it's just because it is such a generous, um, a generous handout to the player base. Uh, for those who don't know, this event is modeled after event called G Guildfest in the game Lords Mobile. Uh, Guildfest has been a part of Lords Mobile for a very long time. And it's it's always been, I've always wondered like why it's taken uh, Lilith so long to bring this event into our OK. But it kind of does make sense to me now where, you know, it's not easy to give players this much free value. Um, if I'm going to get, you know, $10 worth of legendary armament chests every month, then that's ten dollars that I'm less likely to spend on uh, armament bundles every month, quite honestly. Um, it actually does sort of, um, an event like this probably will reduce my spending a little bit. So it's very nice that um, we have this event now, and I encourage everyone in The Handsome Devils to, to take it seriously. It's not a big deal this time. I think this time we're going to easily get promoted and we are going to easily clear the eight tiers. But let's just, uh, you know, let's keep paying attention to this thing. And when it gets more competitive, let's be sure to, you know, use our alts to do some of these barbarian uh, quests where our alts have endless AP that we're happy to use in the home kingdom on you know, low reward barbs. But of course, we would never really want to use our main accounts AP on this stuff. And so it's going to be a, um, yeah, it's going to be a real, uh, it's going to be a true test of activity. It's going to be the, a test of our mains activity. It's going to be a test of our alts activity. And it's going to be a test of the officer's activity. We're trying to refresh these quests and make this a appetizing page for any member who logs in. Uh, you will see that MR68 has grabbed this quest that I I just... Uh, I can't remember if I, I refreshed this or if it was just like sitting here and I was wondering why no one had claimed it. But anyway, it didn't last too long. It's been claimed. I think what's going to happen at the higher tiers of this event is that it's going to become more competitive in terms of one, who gets promoted to the higher league and two, is your alliance able to complete all of the available levels? And what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to be faced with the choice of do I use some of my speed ups and AP to get these higher value quests done in order to improve what my how well my alliance does in alliance mobilization. Or am I going to keep my speed ups and my AP for more quote unquote selfish reasons and the progression of my own account? We're going to hit a point where some players are going to have to make the choice some of the time to do what's best for the Alliance and be a little bit suboptimal as far as their own progression. And that's going to be the correct decision to do to make but it's going to involve some conversation, some social dynamics, and some really marginal decisions on the part of several players as far as, am I gonna just train a bunch of troops on a day where no event is involved simply to do better in Alliance mobilization? 
And in many cases, that will be the correct decision, but you know, you're going to have to get people to actually do that. Um, so that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Alliance mobilization event. Please uh, point out any tips that I failed to mention in this video. Subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed this content. And until next time, I will see you all on the flip side.